the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am exceedingly happy this morning being part of this celebration. Um, one or two persons actually spoke much about Beganti, but I just want to touch our humility nature and our prudent nature. I think I've actually tapped from there. Now, about 14 years ago, I actually stepped into these premises with a CV who wanted to work here. And when I came in, I saw her seated at the front of the church right now. now. She was like, young lady, how are you? I said, I'm fine. You know, she was simply dressed, very simple. She wasn't, she wasn't actually looking in the school. She was not looking at the premises. She was just simply dressed, sitting there. And I said, eh, actually, I'm an applicant. I have to drop my CV. And she was like, OK, drop it. Just drop it on the table. So notably, I dropped it because I was actually want, wanting to meet the owner of the place or the school. Mm -hmm. So I just like, let me drop it. So I dropped it and I went back home. When I got to my husband that I dropped my CV, I was like, I went to who? I said, one lady. One lady. Just one lady. When I have you have started again, my wife, I will just step into it because I just drop your CV with a lady you don't know. How are you sure to get to the owner of the place? I was like, well, okay. So two days later, I was called by the principal then, Mr. Uh, uh, Ambrose, so I got like a, uh, Madam, please come for your interview. I came in and I did my interview. It was good. And after some hours, he said, go and meet the proprietress slash director. And I went to the office and again, I saw this lady on the chair. I was like, what is happening here? And she, we were discussing salary like that. That was when I was made to understand that she is the owner of the place. Within me, ha! This lady simply dressed just almost so spoke, speaking you know, softly, no so welcoming. So, ha! I was like, ha! That's good. So on my own part, I tapped from that. Now, I started working here and um, I saw that she doesn't spend money anyhow. Big auntie will not spend her money anyhow. Big auntie will try every means possible to, to get the best with the little cash. I think I learned from that. So sometimes when I go out shopping and uh, I see these big fish on the trail and big things, uh, when I price and I want to pay, I'll say, no, I won't just drop my money here. Let me go for something good that is a bit worth cheap. I think I used to save some money from Big auntie's own way of life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to talk about a, a discipline and spell. We got this disciplinarian to the club. I can also remember when I brought my child then to work here. You know, as a young mom, I, I don't want to leave the child with anybody. I'll carry the child and sneak into the class with the child to teach. And one morning, during my business studies and classes, because he just came to the back of the class, you know, and was watching and saw the baby eating at the back of the, the last seat in the class. And I was like, we saw that you go. This child cannot be here. Take the child to the daycare. <sighs> I was like, ah, but we can this baby just, be just less than five months old. That was 14 years ago. Say no, this child must be in the daycare. No, this child cannot be in the class. If you know you teach her, send the child to the daycare. And I sent the child to the daycare, and uh, that was how we've been here for five years. We began these principles in life, our way of life, and indeed it has been helping us. We have been you know, going along with a serious nature and have been paying us well. Mommy, just today I want to celebrate you specially because you are a woman that is fat. You are a virtuous woman. You are a virtuous woman, and every woman that wants to really excel in this world, be it in the, as a mother, as a wife, and as a teacher, such a woman needs to meet you and learn from your own way of life. 